Okay, so today we will see how to solve a three machines problem in job sequencing. Okay, now as you can see the data is given, six jobs are there and processing time is given on three machines. So the first step of the solution is to convert this three machine problem temporarily in a two machines or two fictitious machines problem. They are the two fictitious machines means imaginary machines. So two imaginary or fictitious machines G and H. How to do the conversion? These are the formulae for doing the conversion. We will calculate the processing time for G and H. Time for G is time of A plus time of B and time for H is time of B plus time of C. So for example, for job 1, 12 plus 3, 15 for G and 3 plus 7, 10 for C. Then second job, 8 plus 4, 12 and 4 plus 10, 14. Then next, 7 plus 2, 9, 2 plus 9, 11. Then job 4, 11 plus 5, 16, 5 plus 6, 11. Then job 5, 10 plus 2, 12 and 2 plus 11, 13. Job 6, 5 plus 4, 9 and 4 plus 4, 8. Okay, so now step 1 is done. We have converted a three machine problem in a fictitious two machines problem G and H. Now second step is we will give the allocations, optimal job sequence and the rule will be if time is minimum on G, we will give from left side. If time is minimum on H, we will give from right side. Now compare all the time values. Time G minimum was 9 and time H minimum is 8. So we start from job number 6. Okay, Time is minimum on H, so it will go from right side and job number 6. So you write here job number 6. Okay, So job number 6 now we can eliminate. Then next G minimum time is 9, H minimum time is 11. So we will take 9, job number 3 and it is on G. So it will be from left side. So we write job number 3 from left side. So we write job number 3 here. Job number 3 is over, so we will eliminate that. Now next, again minimum time 15, 12, 16, 12, 10, 14, 11, 13. So minimum is 10, that is job number 1. 10 is from right side, so job number 1 from right side, we will write here 1. So now 1 is eliminated. Now remaining 12, 16, 12, 14, 11, 13, so minimum is 11. Job number 4, 11 is on H, so from right side, so job 4 we will write from right side, so job 4 we will write here. So now this we can eliminate. Now 2 and 5, 2 jobs are remaining. Minimum time 12, 12, so there is a time. For this 12, minimum value is 14, and for this 12, minimum value is 13, so we will select this job. And time is less on G, so it will go from left side. So from left side, we will write here 5 and now we can eliminate 5 and only one job remains now, job 2 that we will write in the box and we will write here job number 2. So now all the allocations are done. Okay. Now you should understand here that the purpose of converting in a two machines problem is only to find the allocations. Now when we go to the elapsed time calculation, we will refer the original values. So now this part we can remove from the solution. Now this we did not refer again. So I am erasing this. Now our allocation is done. Optimal sequence is finalized. Okay, so now we will do the elapsed time calculation. This sequence first write down in the column. So it is sequence is 3, 5, 2, 4, 1, 6. Okay, now we can start with the left hand calculation with referring to the original values. Now the first job is 3, in time on machine A, 0. The time of C is 7, 2, 9. So 0 plus 7, 7. Out time 7, so in time here is 7. 
then next is 2 so 7 plus 2 9 so in time will be 9 and time on C is 9 so 9 plus 9 18 so job 3 is done next job number 5 now A is free at 7 so in time is 7 job 5 time is 10, 2 and 11 so 7 plus 2 17 17 and 9 so in time will be 17 higher value is 17 then next is 2 so 17 plus 2 19 19 and 18 higher value is 19 and the next value is 11 so 19 plus 11 30 ok so job 5 is done next is job number 2 time is 8 4 10 machine is 3 at 17 so in time is 17 time is 8 so 17 plus 8 25 25 19 higher value is 25 time on b is 4 25 plus 4 is 29 29 30 higher value is 30 and time on c is 10 so 30 plus 10 40 so 2 is over then next is job number 4 time is 11 5 6 machine is free at 25 so 25 25 plus 11 36 36 29 higher value is 36 so here 36 plus 4 time on b is 5 36 plus 5 41 41 40 so higher value is 41 41 plus job 4 time on c is 6 41 plus 6 is 47 so 4 is done next is job 1 machine is free on 36 so in time is 36 36 plus time is 12 so 48 48 41 so it is 48 and 48 plus time on b is 3 so 51 51 47 so in time is 51 now 51 plus time on c is 7 so 58 last is job number 6 machine is free at 48 so in time is 48 okay. job 1 is done job 1 is over now 6 time is 5 4 4 so 48 plus 5 53 53 51 so 53 okay 53 plus time on me is 4 so 57 57 58 higher value is 58 so 58 and for c time is 4 so 58 plus 4 is 62 this is our final answer so our total elapsed time is 62 hours okay now job 6 is done now we can write our final answers So total minimum elapsed time is 62 hours and then we will see the idle time, okay, idle time of each machine. Now machine A, now let us take the continuity, if there is a break it represents idle time. So 0, 7, 7, 17, 17, 25, 25, 36, 36, 48, 48, 53. So it is continuous. 
but it stops at 53 and time ends at 62. So from 53 to 62 it is idle. So you can make a star here, marking the idle time. So machine A, 62 minus 53, 9 hours. Then machine B, machine B starts at 7. So from 0 to 7 it is idle. So that is the idle time of 7. Then check continuity, 7, 9 and 9, 17. So there is a break. So idle. 17, 19, again 19 to 25 there is a break, so idle, then 25 to 29, 29 to 36 there is a break, so it is idle, 36, 41, 41 to 48 there is a break, so it is idle, then 48, 51, 51 to 53 again there is a break, and then it ends at 57, and total time ends at 62, so here also it is idle. So these are all the idle times of machine B, so we will calculate one by one. So it is first idle for 7, so it is 7, then from 9 to 17, so 17 minus 9 is 8, then 19 to 25, so 6, then 29 to 36, 36 minus 29 is 7, then from 41 to 48, again 7, 48 minus 41 is 7, then 51 to 53 is 2 hours, so idle for 2 hours. And then from 57 to 62, so 62 minus 57 is 5, so it is idle for 5. So total 7 and 8, 15, 15 and 6, 21, 21 and 7, 28, 28 and 7, 35, and 35 and 7, 42. Okay, let's take 15. So it is idle for 42 hours. Machine C, machine C, it starts at 9, so it is idle for 9 hours. 18 to 19, there is a break, so idle for 1, then 30, 30, it is okay. Okay, 19, 30, then 30, 40, then 40, 41, there is a break, so 1 hour, then 41, 47, 47 to 51, there is a break, so idle, then 51, 58, 58, so this is okay, 51, 58, 58, 62, that is okay. So idle time of machine C. First, it is idle for 9 hours, then 18 to 19 is 1, then 40 to 41 is 1, 47 to 51, 51 minus 47 is 4, so it is 4, so 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 1, 11, 11 plus 4, 15, so it is idle for 15 hours. Okay, so this is our solution is now complete, so what we have done is, First, we can convert a three machine problem in a two, two machines problems G and H. Based on that, we found the sequence of allocations, the job, optimal job sequence. After that, we referred back to the original time values given in the question for A, B and C and then we calculated the elapsed time and then the elapsed time for 62 hours and then we calculated the idle time for each of the machines A, B and C. Okay, so now our solution is complete. Okay.